Father God, we sing this morning of your amazing grace. For we know of those who may not know this truth. We hear of those struggling to be heard, those who are oppressed, those who need to find you in their lives. May that be a challenge for each one of us to think, what would Jesus do in each situation we encounter? So just now, we're going to have some moments of prayer, whether spoken or unspoken. Let there just be freedom in prayer. Verse 3 reminds us, the Lord has promised good to me, his word my hope secures. Father, as we listen to your word this morning, may you reveal something new to us. May we understand your message and apply it to our lives. Lord, we thank you for each new day, both the good days and the bad, and we thank you that each for each of them, you are right there beside us. Amen. Our Bible reading today is taken from Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 to 8. Revelation right at the back of the Bible there. Revelation 21, verses 1 to 8. For using the core Red Bible, it's found on page 1249. Starting from verse 1. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, <coughs> the new Jerusalem, coming out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them, and they will be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne has said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. To those who are victorious will inherit all of this, and I will be their God and they will be my children. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all the liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. And this is the second death. Amen. And Chris will be bringing you some words from that later on in our meeting. But for now, we will have the announcements. Um, the divisional campaign um, is fast approaching. Details have been in the Sunday for a while. Um, again, there's no charge for tickets. If you are in Inverness that weekend and you want to go, please let us know just so we can tell DHQ. Now, I did mention this last week. Um, as part of this, Stornoway Corps will be holding a prayer meeting in this hall at 11 o'clock on this Sunday. And we need to know if people are going to come. So far, Thursday, Thursday sorry, on Thursday. Um, we really need to know if people will, are going to come, and so far nobody said they're coming, um, so brilliant. So after the meeting, if you could let us know, just so we can set up the hall, because um, this is going to be live streamed. You won't be filmed, but the meeting is, because we're getting involved with other cause as well that are unable to participate. So we're going to be doing that from 11 o'clock on Thursday, the 19th, um, this week. Um, and it's going to be, um, we're going to be praying over the campaign praying that God's work will be done throughout this campaign um, in North Scotland in August. Uh, the flower and holiness table list is still quite empty on the board and if you would like to 
um, contribute in worship in that way, please put your name on there. On the front of the Sunday link this week, whether you get it online or as paper copy, I've uh, put on the new fundraising initiative that has come from Central. Um, it's uh, to sponsor, um, you could be sponsored to what the equivalent of the 30th tallest buildings in the world. If you want any more information, there is a link, um, or just have a chat with us if you'd like to get involved. Again, if you have a current food hygiene certificate and you'd like to help out with teas and coffees after the meeting, please speak to us or um, our volunteers that are helping so we can spread the load so it doesn't have to fall on the same people every week. Tomorrow there will be a band practice on from 6 um, From next week, um, the, the officers, me and Chris, will be away um, after the service. We will be holding the service. Um, but we are attending a divisional retreat um, in Banff, I think. I thought it was Nairn, I think it's Banff, somewhere on that side of the country. Um, no, retreat. We're going away for a retreat. Um, that'll be the last time I'll be leaving the island uh, before baby. But if there's any local issues, retreat, retreat. I'm retreating from the absence, I'm just saying. I know I'm struggling to, um, to concentrate at the moment. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, if you've got any local issues, please contact um, a core council member um, and or leave a message either on the call phone or email and we will address it when we get back. We will be back on late on Friday, um, so if there is anything drastic between now and then, please let us know. Um, the food bank is busier than ever now we've changed days. So the food bank has changed on Tuesdays and Fridays, 11 till 2. Um, we are getting an average of about 150 people a session, and the food is not going as far as it needs to. So if you can continue to pray for the food bank, um, there is discussions about what's happening with that um, above, above our level. Um, but if you can pray into that, because there is no easy solution to this. And I know many other places are, um, are encountering these issues as well. So can we pray into that as well um, locally, because we do want to still help people. But as again, the pressures as the cost of living for everyone um, is making things right. Um, so yes, yeah, so Tuesdays and Fridays, they've now moved to 11 till 2. So just before we hear from the word, we're going to sing again song 600. And 76, which talks again. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm really not with it today. I have missed a really important announcement. I'm um, sorry, I'm just getting really distracted. Um, yeah, um, unfortunately, um, we had um, an announcement yesterday that um, some of you may know Kirsty Hill, um, that used to attend our court. Unfortunately, she passed away yesterday morning, um, and her funeral will be um, this week. Um, we haven't had any details yet, we were only told late last night. Um, if you are wanting to come to pay respects, um, if you just let us know after the meeting and then when we know more information we can let you guys know. As I say, some of you may not know Kirsty, um, but um, yeah, she, she was ill for a, a short period of time. Um, and as I say, once we know, we don't know any of the details, we're waiting to hear from the family. Um, but please pray for the family and for those friends and and their children and everything as well in that situation. Um, that would be really helpful. So, um, yeah, just give us your names after the meeting and we will, we will go through that. Um, so, yeah, just before Chris brings us the words today, we're going to sing song 676, which talks again about the trust we place in God and our earthly life. So we're going to sing this straight away through. We're going to ask you to stand if you're able so you can stretch your legs. It says song 600. 